we're approaching the winter season here in my garden in the San Francisco Bay Area and that means it's time for white sapote. And I have a bit of a basket here of this fruit that I've picked. Um, the sapote is native to southern Mexico, Central America. It's uh, in the citrus family, believe it or not, even though the fruit doesn't really resemble oranges. Um, so it's in the Rutaceae, it's native to Central America, grows in the uh, tropical and subtropical highlands. Uh, conditions there are not too dissimilar to coastal California here around San Francisco Bay. My tree is a seedling that's been in spot here now for about 16 years. I pruned it twice to the top of the fence line, but eventually gave up attempting to try to control the height of the tree. Uh, the plant just wants to grow a little too big for me to bother with my pruning shear. Um, it produces something on the order of about 2,000 pounds of fruit every year. Uh, it comes in two waves. Uh, one of them comes down in late fall, early winter. The other wave of fruit comes down closer towards spring again. So the bearing is something like lemons. Uh, similar to the bearing of the lemon or the lime, two cycles a year. So I got some windfalls here. Mostly uh, we want to take these down from the tree very carefully, one at a time, because they're really very delicate. But I've got uh, a pretty good mulch here on the ground. As you can see, there are sapote laying around here or there at the base of the tree. Um, a lot of them come down without getting damaged because of the mulch. They'll bounce. And so I picked these up off the ground this morning. Although I do recommend that you actually go up into the tree with a cut and hold fruit picker when you're trying to harvest this fruit. Which would be one reason why most of us don't know it from the supermarket. It's really perishable, it's really hard to pick and really hard to ship. You can find it on occasion, but not often in a store. A ripe sapote generally has a yellowish color to it. Uh, not all of mine turn yellow, sometimes my skins are green and so the color isn't necessarily an indicator. It should yield slightly to a squeeze, okay, just a little bit. Um, if, they, if they're too soft, it'll damage them just trying to get them out of the tree. They usually have uh, one or two fairly large seeds in the middle. This one here, you can see, has a seed right there. There's one of the seeds right there on the slice. Mmm. Wow, I get a little bit of banana reaction because it's soft, very sweet like the banana. A little bit of ethylene quality like a banana, but it's uh, lemon and vanilla mixed and banana custard. That's probably as close as I can get to this. It's really sweet, very soft, wet squishy. It drips a little bit. You can kind of see the gloss on the side of the fruit there where it's been cut. So it's pretty wet. Gets on the fingers. Gets the fingers all sticky. Kind of runs off a little bit. Doesn't run off the fruit too much. So it's not going to run down your elbows. But it's damp. Kind of a banana-y custard sort of thing. A little bit like the pawpaw. Those of you who eat pawpaws, it's a little bit like a pawpaw. The texture and quality of the mouth very much the same, and so is the sugar content, similar to the pawpaw. But this one's got some subtle undertones that remind me of vanilla and lemon. Uh, that's the type of sapote I like. There are some sapote that have the hint of caramel. Now, some people like those. I don't. I find them entirely too sweet and cloying. Uh, actually, my favorite way to eat this fruit, because it is so sweet, is actually to cut it in wedges like this, take the seeds out, I stick it in a little bowl, put lime juice over the top, and marinate it for a couple of hours in the refrigerator. So when they're nice and cold and they get a little bit of lime juice on them, I find them far more exciting because they are so sweet. Man, in Mayan, I believe, uh, which is where the word sapote comes from, uh, or zapota, something on that order, uh, kind of refers to just about any kind of uh, sweet, soft, squishy fruit that would come from Mexico, Central America. And so there's all sorts of fruit named sapote. Chico sapote, mammy sapote, black sapote, white sapote, yellow sapotes, yada yada. This one is Casamaroa edulis, the white sapote. 
it is hardier than all other sapote fruit on earth and so it will grow in a lot of places where you could never think of growing the other sapotes. So if you can grow a lemon in your area, I believe you can grow white sapote. It's definitely as hardy as macadamia nuts, and so if macadamias will grow, my macadamia is side by side here with my white sapote. Two seem to like culture. I don't water it very much. The tree is exceptionally drought tolerant. The only thing that will happen if you dry the tree out is it might go through a bout of leaf drop and then the fruit will probably stop enlarging and set without seeds inside. So if the plant droughts, you might have a lot of smaller seedless fruit. If there's a lot of rain and a lot of water, you'll end up with fruit that's much larger with more seeds inside. The size of the fruit is usually indicated by how many seeds are inside of it. If you have a larger fruit, chances are there are probably more seeds. Smaller fruit, perhaps even seedless or with a board of seeds. Um, my fruit, the biggest ones, usually about so big here, you can see by comparison to my hand. Um, this is typical for this tree, although there are sapote that grow a larger fruit. I don't know whether the quality of the fruit's any better, but there are bigger sapote than this one. So, if you're a gardener who loves exotic fruit, and you don't happen to live in a tropical environment, you might want to try Casamarilla edgeless, the white sapote. It's hardy in most of the coastal areas of California, it works in Florida, and there may be a few other mild zones uh, in the southern tier of the United States where this plant will work. So I said, anywhere you can grow a lemon tree, you can grow white sapote. The yield is huge, they're very exotic. You'll draw lots of interest from other gardeners when you plant these in your yard. I recommend trying white sapote.